Hey everyone, Pupsker here. Today in Warframe, we are going over what you should buy with Platinum, well, at least for the year 2022. Now, it's always important to keep this in mind that this is more so of an opinion-based video, so if you have Platinum, if you want to buy something, go ahead. It's your Platinum, do whatever you want to do, but I like just making videos going over what is generally decent value to buy with Platinum, especially if you're more of like a newer to mid-game player, maybe you have less Platinum, but you can always trade and earn more Platinum if needed, so keep that in mind. And yeah, as always, subscribe, like, comment if you want to, don't if you don't want to, the usual, just YouTube shenanigans. So a lot of what we're going to go over is going to be in the market. The market is the big place where you'll be spending a lot of platinum. In Warframe, I generally wouldn't recommend spending platinum at all in the foundry to rush things because let's say, uh, yeah, no, it's really not worth it just at all because you end up spending an insane amount of like yeah 10 platinum just to speed something up by one hour you can build as many things at one time in the foundry as possible so it really doesn't matter right so i wouldn't recommend doing that but i know some people sometimes just can't wait right they're really excited for that one weapon or item whatnot right so then uh they speed it up but generally yeah there's nothing really in here i would bother spending platinum on right i think there's some genetic code stuff and uh kubra breeding you can end up buying but most of that will still be in the market so let's go take a look finally at the market see what we should buy always on the featured page on warframe it will have the newest of the new right Forma bundles, not the worst value, but, you know, you can get Forma, but these aren't terrible, right? Generally, I wouldn't bother getting these if you're new to mid-game, though. 30-day affinity boosters. I would only ever get these if you're planning on power, farming, and leveling a ton of weapons and warframes, and by that point, you should be, like, mid to late game because there's just so many weapons and warframes, right? Hunhouse gift, I, you know, all of this is pretty much just cosmetics, right? Buy the beautiful cosmetics in Warframe, yeah, if you want, if you have the money to spend. They're always uh, great if you do plan on using them, right? Look at these great skins. They, they're lovely, okay? Without a doubt. You get a lot of Hunhouse gift stuff. Uh, this was a classic back in my day, but the main thing I would always recommend you spend your platinum on is weapon warframe slots there are a ton of slots in warframe that you will end up needing for weapons warframes oh where's the warframe uh warframe slot that eh, must be called something else right arc wing weapon slots very important weapon slots very important Companion slots, very important. Well, the most being, most important at all these being the weapon slots. So, of course, I would recommend getting those if you at all could. There are a ton of Warframes in the shop that you can buy. There it is. It's a Warframe slot. You will definitely need a ton of these. I wouldn't generally recommend outright buying Warframes in the shop, as every Warframe in the game can be farmed up one way or another. Some you can buy the blueprint here just in the market, and then farm up the items elsewhere, and then build it. It all really depends on the Warframe, so I wouldn't recommend spending Platinum on Warframes, but if you do, there are certain specific Warframes that have a terribly long farm, especially if you get unlucky. You can always look up the list online if you ever want to pull the trigger on that one. But all in all, I wouldn't bother, right? The Necromech, Void Rig Necromech, people are spending a decent amount of Platinum on purely because it's required for the new war and a lot of people didn't do isolation vaults on Deimos in order to unlock the Void Rig. I think the Void Rig is a little too expensive at 375 platinum, but it also takes a lot of days to unlock it because of uh, standing caps, so I wouldn't unlock it, but hey, I know a lot of people did for the new war. So all the featured popular stuff, right? I wouldn't really generally buy things like Relic Packs, 
but it's up to you. Free with Prime Gaming. Yeah, the free stuff is always nice. There are always cosmetics that people go crazy for, right? So these were always just straight up up to you. Look at all these glyphs. Yeah, it looks like those are pretty minimal. Again, I said all the Warframes. I wouldn't really go over and get a ton of these. All of the things like armors, animation sets, emotes, things like that, right, are personally 100% up to you. They aren't a value purchase at all, right? Because it's just for pretty fashion frame. So the value is infinite in your mind. And then the Warframe Deluxe Bundles is like the prettiest section on the shop because deluxe bundles look so freaking nice. So yeah, it's always up to you, right? So primary, secondary weapons, melee weapons, I wouldn't buy a single one or Arcwing with platinum. All of these can be unlocked in game. You can buy the uh, blueprints here and elsewhere if needed, right? So I wouldn't really ever buy or spend any money on that. The equipment tab is a fun one, right? All of the boosters are up to you, right? They are dependent on what you plan on farming. If you wanna go really hard, boosters can be okay. Three day to seven day boosters, I'd say are generally okay, but if you wanna go ham for a whole month, that is also, you know, fair enough, right? Those are also just a personal choice of yours if you wanna farm hard. You can always get um, increased modifiers in game using Warframes and other methods and companions for increased affinity, drop rate, mod drop rate, things like that. Well, usually mod drop rate, not really, but affinity credits, right? stuff like that so you can always do things there all of these can be earned in game albeit some of them slower than others sometimes it might be worth buying one if you're a little early and you really need something but exilis warframe and weapon adapters not really worth it aura forma not not really worth it for 80 platinum at all wouldn't get that more so just a forma bundle if anything right and then, yeah, this is all just pretty, pretty things. I would never recommend outright buying resources from here, okay? Never buy things like straight up Argon Crystal or yeah, crew member slot that's later on. Never buy things like Field Drawn because you can earn all of these in game, right? I would not personally recommend buying a ton of mod packs because the value on them is pretty bad, and you can probably just ask people to trade you for free or a very low amount. But yeah, no, never buy things like Ferrite or Field Run. Do not buy resources, right? Lenses, I wouldn't really recommend buying either. Gravamag, no, 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 no. Yeah, mostly everything here I wouldn't buy other than blueprints and such for credits, right? Think, buying things for credits, A-OK, -okay, makes sense. Buying a lot of these things for platinum, it's A, up to you, and B, not a good value if you're looking for like the resources, right? Most of this is just for fun, pretty in Warframe things. Orkin Catalysts and Orkin Reactors, you can get them in game, but it can be somewhat very slow and situational. So these can be decent purchases with Platinum, right? Because they are very useful, doubling your weapon and doubling your Warframe um, mod capacity slot is huge earlier in the game. So these might be worth it once or twice earlier on in the game, or you know, a handful of times if you have the platinum, right? Because they are just so useful, but never, never resources. Railjack, Cephalon Blueprint, buy the blueprint, do the Railjack quests when it's time. That's more of a mid to later game thing, if you choose. You can buy all of these with credits. Ah, uh, the floof. Beautiful, beautiful floof. And yeah, there's more slots like here that you can use. I would 100% purchase a good chunk of Warframe and or weapon slots if you like using a good variety of Warframes and weapons and if you never want to get rid of them because it does get tedious and annoying earlier on in the game having to get rid of weapons you've mastered and getting rid of Warframes that you've mastered in order to get new Warframes and weapons to master them, right? It can be a pain. I wouldn't get a Transmute Core Pack at all, right? Most things in that general area aren't huge value. 
Most of these companions wouldn't really be a good value purchasing with Platinum, but if you really don't want to farm them, they're actually one of the cheaper things, so it could be worse depending on uh, what you want to buy. All in all, pretty cheap in the companion slots area. I wouldn't buy a ton of things here, okay? Let's, uh, let's be real here. I don't care much about the companion stuff. The equipment stuff I also mostly don't care about. The bundles, though... The bundles can be decent enough of value. Most of it is always cosmetic, right? This one isn't. This gives you the Boltor, Bolto, and Boltis. I don't think this is a good value IMO. I think uh, Aura Forma bundles aren't great value. A little too expensive, right? Da -da -da. Let's see what are all of these bundles. Yeah, this one might actually not be the worst, but not great. Let's be real here. Yeah, it's still pretty expensive. Because the, like these are on par with cosmetics, which are I would value higher. These are never really worth it. IMO and these are just glyphs, stuff like that. Yeah, none of this is worth it unless you like really want it. Things like the stealth pack, yeah, definitely not worth it. Things like the Supreme Soma set, huge, huge bad value, right? So I uh, I just wouldn't really fuck with a lot of this stuff myself, right? But. Yeah, you can if you want. Most of it's really bad value. The ones that include Warframes are a little bit better, but still not great. But hey, at least the cosmetics are still decent enough. And then you have Tenogen stuff, which is straight up buying some beautiful, beautiful skins off. Pretty much if you're on, you know, Steam from the Steam Marketplace with money. If you're all on console, I think you can buy it with Platinum, but... I can't remember because I don't fully play with Platinum, or sorry, on console. So yeah, that's how that works there. And then you have your Prime Access, which gives you a good chunk of Platinum and some of the latest Primes, depending on, you know, what you actually buy. So generally, that's what I'd say is decent enough value with Platinum. There aren't a ton of things these days, like, in-game that are great value with Platinum. You can always straight up trade Platinum to get a better value out of it, to be fair. But there is no inherent trading system other than chatting to people in trade chat, maybe using Warframe.market, which isn't affiliated officially with Warframe, right? It's like a community-driven website or just straight up yelling around. It's hard to get good trades going sometimes, but hey, you can use and spend Platinum well there. That is what I would give for good value, want to buy with Platinum in 2022. Let me know what you think. I like to do a lot of these yearly videos because people like them. They do well for the year and they're pretty chill to make. So thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it and I will see you next time. Peace.